2016 Hoops in the Sun Ramble Classic at Orchard Beach post game show with none other. Favorite nephew of the game, and boy, did he get it right today. Jabari Hines loves Orchard Beach, and Jabari, we never want to hold you up. It was just a great, outstanding performance. And again, I was able to catch up with you at the break, and you came out with so much energy. It made such a difference. What was it that sparked you today? Uh, just the people I was playing against. You know, I know those guys. You know, they're older than me, so I actually watched them play in college. You know, some overseas. You know, some trying to go to NBA. So I just want to, you know, see where my game was at and just try to go hard and compete. Well, quickly, you've become a fan favorite. Your name is synonymous with gritty guard play. You know, you get out there, and it's almost like you give little guys hope. What is it about being that size and being so tough? Uh, you just got to have heart at the end of the day. You know, everybody, anybody can play this game, but, you know, you just got to find your, your favorite spots on the court that you feel that's comfortable and, you know, just go with it and just try to, you know, just try and keep doing what you can do. And, you know, today there was a point. And I don't want to harp on it. You know, there was a point today where the game kind of got away from you guys that needed leadership, needed somebody to step up. You stepped in and you did an outstanding job against pro-level guards. So what does that do for you going forward as a player? Uh, just uh, keeps my confidence up. You know, I was mad. You know, I wasn't hitting no jump shots. But I'm going to have to work on that some more. But, you know, getting to the rack, finishing my, uh, my legs, you know, that's something that I've been doing since I was young. So it's good that I'm still doing it now. So for the 18-point performance with a gritty, gritty ending to it, Jabari, can the fans at Orchard Beach who love your game, can they look to see more of that kind of performance this year? Yes, definitely. You know, I got to keep it up, you know, in order for us to win, you know, just and compete every time I play out here. Okay, so for Randy Cruz, for Uncle G Stacks, the post-game show. Right now, one of the hottest things on YouTube, Jabari Hines, Uncle G Stacks, Randy Cruz, and we out. This is Bobby C. for the Hoops in the Sun Spotlight here on a beautiful Father's Day Sunday at the Bronx Riviera Orchard Beach. Our guest today, the star of the game, is Damo. A final score of 103.99 and double overtime. And Damo, I got a bone to pick with you because you hit the free throw that sent this one into overtime, but you missed the second half of the free throw that could have won the game. Instead, you guys had to duke this one out in two extra periods. But a great performance. You finished with 34 points and your team bang with the victory today. Yes, sir. I'm very happy with the victory. I know I missed that free throw. The wind kind of took it. That's the thing about being on the beach. It's a nice day, but the wind shifts it a little bit. So I'll take that fall for that one. At least we got the win. I'm happy about uh, that. You played a superb game. And to me, the thing that stood out was you looked at, you know, you always have big games here at the beach. You love to play here. You look at your stats early in the game. It took you a minute to kind of get going. Mm -hmm. But in that third and fourth quarter, specifically that fourth quarter, you had double figures just by yourself in that quarter alone. And then you end up with 34 points and a lot of them coming in the in the two overtime periods. But one of the things that I wanted to ask you about was your signature free throw, your style there with the one-handed shot. Mm -hmm. How does that work for you? Because um, you make a lot of them, almost all of them. Yeah, you know, ex except for on the beat sometimes. You know, it varies from time to time, especially with the wind. But my high school coach always had me, sh had the whole team shooting that way. My freshman year, and I just was the one to stick with it. He made everybody shoot that way. So I was the one to stick with it. I was a I was a great, I had a great percentage with it, so I just I just stuck with it. You know, it's been a signature, you know, and I'm little, so I got to do anything to stand out. So, that, you know, it always helps out. Well, the front end of that two free throws was very clutch because you hit that first shot. That does tie the game just for you to even make one of them. I mean, that's that's a big time play to send it into the over the first overtime. Mm -hmm. Today, you know, what was it that got this team kind of going late in the game? Because this battle was tied at the halftime, seesaw throughout, and, and really a great game, one of the best games we've had so far this year. Yeah, we had to blame team management for us being late. And so, you know, it was kind of it was kind of rough for us. We didn't get a warm-up and stuff like that. So we slowly but surely got back in the game. We knew if we kept fighting, played defense, got stops in different positions, then we'll, we'll find our way to win the game, and we did that. So Team Bang today with the victory over KYDA. And you know what? You look in that overtime, you were the person that, that really orchestrated this victory because you were making plays as the playmaker, both dishing and swishing. And at one point, you guys had a five- or six-point lead, and yet Team Bang was was in control, but KYD had their moments where they came back and, and, and challenged in this yeah, one. Yeah, they, they definitely had a lot of big shots. But, you know, just to orchestrate my team, I, I know my guys. They they, they hard for it, you know what I mean? They got they tough. So I know I, I handpicked these guys, a lot of a lot of these guys myself. So I already knew after last week's performance, after last week's loss, that we need to come stronger. So we did that. And I knew the, those guys, I, I'll go to war with those guys any day of the week.
Damo here in the podcast and also on the simulcast, the Hoops in the Sun Spotlight, our player of the game in game one. You know, you've been a guy, I think one of the best things that makes this, this such a great tournament here at the beach is the fact that there are regular stars like yourself that are here every single week. It's not like, oh, Damo just comes and plays one game and then you don't see him again for three weeks. You're here often, almost all the time. You're a big time player. For you, what kind of significance is today Father's Day because Pops Cruz and the legacy that he's provided here for Hoops in the Sun? I've been a big fan the league for, for 17 years like me coming up I always watch the older guys older vets now and, and watch them come on the beach and, and do work I, I got a chance to watch bingo to the money inks and stuff like that and I got to play a lot and I love this tournament this is one of my one of my favorite tournaments in the, in the world like they do a great job everything I love you guys the announcers is great it gets me going and I just love the, I love the atmosphere it's great out here I love to be so I will be here every week awesome man and then any uh, shout outs that you want to give here on Father's Day um, happy Father's Day to my father, and to so all the fathers out there. You know, keep doing, keep doing well. It's not a lot of, a lot of men that handle their responsibilities. But we got, so we got, for that stigma, we gotta just keep focusing on, on the young kids and, and on work on the growth for them. And before we let you go, I think one of the best parts of the spotlight is kind of being able to let people know where you are, where you've come from, and where you're going. You've been a globe trotter, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have been a globe trotter. That was a, that was a chapter in my a life. Harlem globe trotter. Yes, yeah, sir. So I've been trying to, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm weighing my options right now. I got a couple of things on the table that I'm working with, <laughs> so I'm gonna make it work. You know what I mean? Awesome, great job today. 34 points, double overtime victory. You are the hoops in the sun spotlight. Appreciate you. Thanks. Okay, we live right here, Orchard Beach, Sunday afternoon, Father's Day. And our second game of the afternoon, we chilling with the G-Stack's favorite nephew of the game this afternoon, Young D and Duran. We just want to know, you've been out here before. You've been a star at the beach. Of course, Team Diamond last year's finalist. You a big part of that. But today, an outstanding performance, 24 points, in and out of the game, able to do what you wanted to do. Okay, what is it that brings out the best of you at Orchard Beach? Say what brings out the best is my team, man, and the competition that make you want to play the best. And then I got guys like Jamaica and Rail that push me because they know what I could do and they want to let me be, let me be free on the court. And with that confidence, you know, you play a game. And you're a young fan favorite, of course. You were up here a couple of years when the fans fell in love with you, and then you kind of had a in between year last year, and now you're back doing the things that the fans know and love. So again, Orchard Beach always bringing out the best in you. Can the fans look forward to seeing you every time when the diamond is on the schedule? Yeah, definitely. So, Diamond is a family, man. This is home. This is where I'm at. Okay, so for Randy Cruz, we're not going to hold you up for Uncle G Stacks. Again, the G Stacks favorite nephew of the game. 24 points in that hot sun. And Young D, you'll be seeing a lot of him. So for Uncle G Stacks, Young Duran, Randy Cruz, a happy Father's Day. Thank you. The 2016 Hoops in the Sun Round World Classic at the Orchard Beach, Week 3. Father's Day extravaganza. The final game of the afternoon. Favorite nephew, co MVP. Young La. And today, an example, y'all, you came out, it was nasty. Not typical Sean Bell basketball, but you, being a pro, being the kind of guy you are, you were able to change the whole tide of the game. So what goes through your mind when everybody's stagnant, you're used to winning, you're a championship caliber player, and the guys need a push? Why so, was it you today? So what it is is it's my 10th year with the program. Well, basically, on street ball, my 10th year. So it's like I'm a veteran now. It's no more rookie. So it's like at certain times, you got to step up, you got to take over the game, you got to do something. If I'm not producing on both ends of the floor, it makes it tougher for us. That's why today was a tough game. So once I, once that mindset starts to kick in where it's like we got that never die attitude, so it's like by all means, we got to get to it. So you know what I mean? As long as it's time on the clock, it's time for us to win the game. And we saw Coach Ra, who's famous for being hard on his players and, and being demanding, and we saw him for some reason or another go to you and kind of give you the keys to the game at the end. That is a trust factor that has to exist between the coach and the player. How were you able to establish that that's with what, a demanding coach? That's what Rod do. You know what I mean, that's what makes him great a great coach. That's what makes him a, a great on, on and off the floor person. Simple. He knows what he expects out of your guys. He knows what he has when he brings you up here. He knows what he wants, and he knows how to win. He knows how he wants to win, and he knows how to get it done. You know what I mean? It's just basically you got to be able to, to sit there and understand that he's telling you for your own good. And don't take it as him being hard on him, just knowing that he knows what's best for you. Beautiful. Now, uh, before you go, you know, the fans have fell in love with you. You've been an all-star. You've been co-MVP. You've been all over the league. You've been supportive. You're a strict disciple. A so I guess when you come up here, obviously you feel the obligation. You feel the love of the fans. Yeah. Can the fans look on the schedule and say, hey, well, Sean Bell is playing. We know Young Law is coming out. Oh, that's a fact. Without a doubt. Every week, 
You ain't got to worry about that, man. I'm here forever strict, man. Shout out to my man, Henny Lou, as well. But forever strict always, I'm here. So for Randy Cruz, so for Uncle G Stacks, of course, for the fan favorite Young La, you see Sean Bell on the schedule, you know you get Young La, one of the hardest working nephews. And again, for Young La, for G Stacks, a happy Father's Day. Strict forever. Thank you.